Hello, hello. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. All right. Let's do it. Hello, hello. Good morning, afternoon, everyone. There we are. Oh, what happened to my little camera here? Something touched it. There we go. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome, 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 welcome. Have a um, simple, I hope what will be an, I know what will be an adorable project for us today. Very easy, and we're going to be using the Hey Cassandra. Good to see you. Good to see you. We are going to be using this Dollar Tree um, light bulb terrarium for today's project. This Dollar Tree light bulb terrarium. Let me bring this closer and let's put something behind it since it's clear so you can see it, especially with all the light that we have going on in the space. This is what we're going to create with today. So let's let's get busy, right? I'm going to put our camera down and we will start so that we can get it done within what I would hope to be the hour. And then I'll talk to you all about what's been going on. I've missed you guys, Cassandra, because I don't like being away, but I also had to, um, went to see Beyonce. Beyonce, Beyonce. So, okay, let's start out. We are going to take off the string and ribbon here. That was interesting that that just pulled right out of there like that. Um, because we want to get this going, I want to start painting a couple of things that we're going to do. So let's do some of our prep work to make the project work. I have an S that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. It was on their clearance. Uh, it was 74 cent on clearance. Normally... $2.99. So, so hard to see that because of the shadowing. So we're going to start with this S and I guess I can, I don't use jute string. That's more, um, this little jute string is more for, uh, rustic faux style. That's not my style. So I'm going to start with this S and I want to paint this a little bit, uh, so that we can decor it as well. I'm going to put a little bit of paint out and I'm going to grab a, a small piece of my painter's tape. Just we only need a little bit of the painter's tape because of the way that I want to design this. So I'm going to grab just a small piece of it. Put that back. All right, so we are going to cut it off right there. And this will just give us a straight line across the, oh, great, Sharon. I'm already messing up. Got my fingers in the paint already, just like that. This is just going to give me a straight line across the S. And put a little bit of glitter in here. Mixing the glitter with your paint uses the paint as the um, as the adhesive instead of doing multiple steps. It kind of cuts a step, and we're just going to paint this onto paint this mixture onto our S. And we're going to work to try to make the strokes as smooth as possible so that we don't have to do multiple paint. And with the paint that fell down behind there, we're going to just use that to paint our sides. And full strokes. And you know, you could, I could have roughed this up because it has kind of a slick surface on the top of it. I could have, if I thought about it before, roughed it up to make sure that it's um, not so slick so that it would accept the paint a little bit better. But this is going to be cool and cute. 
All right. Is that too much light? I always worry about there being too much light for you guys and it blocking from us being able to see. I have a lot of lights on in my room because I don't want the, um, I want the camera quality to be good, but there it is. This is what we're doing. I'll lower the, bring you in a little bit so you can see better. There we go. That might be, that light might be better. Um, run a second coat across this now, even though it's not all the way dry. We'll run a second coat across it. And light brush strokes. I'll run it around the edge to make sure that our edge is covered. And then I'm going to take a little bit of glitter and sprinkle on here as well. And tap that off. All right, there we go. We're going to let that sit back. I'm going to put this off to the side so it can dry. My paint, my glitter, all this will go off to the side so that it can dry. All right, now we need to do. Which one do I want to paint? I'm going to come here. Um, let's see. I just noticed that the side of this was showing. And without any glitter on the side, it looks like it's um, unfinished. So we'll try to swing some glitter along the bottom of there as well. There we go. That makes it, that'll make it look better instead of unfinished. So I have to tell you guys, um, I have to tell you, if you ever get an opportunity to go and see Beyonce in concert, to do it, even if you are sitting in the nosebleed sections, her concert is so phenomenal. She performs to the camera. So the jumbotrons from the nosebleed sections get just as awesome of a show um, viewing of her as the people sitting probably even in my opinion uh, better than the people that are sitting down in the front rows because I've been to concerts where they will um, perform to the people in the front row and forget about the people up in the jumbotron section um, that was not Queen Bee she performed to the camera and to the um jumbotron so that made everybody get an equally good show and you didn't miss out on anything so if you ever get a chance to see her perform don't worry about saying well i can't afford the tickets on the on the floor and i won't be able to see on the bottom because she performed i mean her concert is awesome two and a half well, about two and a half hours of pure performance as well. So it was really great. Really great. Okay, so next we are going to take our um, Mod Podge. And I'd like to just take a brief moment and look at this. This little Mod Podge container was sent to me by one of, um, one of my uh, members from Le Lisa. Uh, it comes up as Elisa in the screen, but... She sent this to me, and I think it is just adorable. And so I filled it with Mod Podge, and it is great. And it also comes with different tips that you can use. Like I could take this tip and use it instead of the one that I have um, on here. It's just the cutest little thing. Cutest little thing. I thought it was so cute. Um, and it caught me totally off guard because I didn't know she was even sending it. So when I received it, it was a beautiful and pleasant surprise. I was just really thankful for this uh, gift that was sent. That and um, a couple of other items that she had sent to me, which were really, really nice. So really love my community. Really love my community um, and appreciate. You don't have to be here to give me gifts, but I appreciate that you do. And I want to make sure to say thank you. And shout you out for the gift that you gave me. So we're going to mix a little bit of this paint. 
I am using the metallic uh, acrylic paint. It's called Splenda Gold. I'm going to mix that in with my Mod Podge and stir that together. Now, because the Mod Podge is white, the paint will come out a little lighter. So you can um, put in additional paint if you want to. But I am going to put in some mica powder because I want this to be really gold. So we're going to tap off a little bit of gold mica powder in here. This is the Jakar mica powder, and this is called the wrong one. This is bronze. I got to get the gold. I don't want bronze. I'm glad that didn't tap off in there. Let me get the right one. There it is. All right. I got the right one here. This is gold. And so let's get the gold in here. And just tap a little bit in there. You know, Michael Powders will give it that beautiful sheen. And this gold is by, it's called Solar Gold. And we're going to mix that up inside of our paints as well. That is a, um, Michael Powder is a color enhancing uh, shimmer that will give your colors a little bit of deeper shine and um, golder enhanced enhancement that actually will make it just very, very pretty and shiny, shimmery. So we don't need any glitter right this moment, but what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, mixture that we have here and we're going to start putting it inside of our Utopia or our um, light bulb. And I'm actually going to pour it in so that we can spin it around and it gets inside of everywhere. All right? Hi, Glenda. How are you? Good to see you. We are decorating... Oh. We are decorating a, um, we're making this Terranian a, it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful glam candle holder if it comes out the way that I see it in my mind. And right now I am just trying to cover the inside with paint. And I wanted to let it just kind of spin around and do it on its own, but it's not moving or maybe it's not moving fast enough for me, so I'm going to help it a little bit. Being very careful not to have too much of it here and there. So, um, I was telling, I'm talking about last weekend, I wasn't here, and I shared with you guys that I had tickets to um, Beyonce's concert in Chicago. So we drove over there. I have to tell you, um, I love Chicago, but Chicago is very expensive. I could, I don't see, I wouldn't be able to live in Chicago because the cost of everything is crazy. And um, I'm sure it was even more because Beyonce was in town, but it was a huge, I mean, we paid $82 for, um, parking in an outside parking lot that was several blocks away from where we were staying in the hotel because the hotel was parking was completely full. Um, when I tell you it was the beehive was in full throttle, like it was full of Beyonce fans. It was, the place was buzzing. The entire city was buzzing with um, Beyonce vibe, if you would. The entire community there was buzzing with Beyonce 5. I got a little bit on the outside. Let's try to come in this way with this and color this one. You guys will see what we'll do in a minute. But if you buy this, um, I just want to make sure that the entire inside is covered with Mod Podge. So, and I want it to be, I wanted it to be pretty smooth, but it's not moving as free flowing as I was hoping that it would be. But you can see, I don't know if you can see on your end the shimmer that the micro powder, mica powder has added to. 
this vase, but it is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Let's see, it's piling up inside the bottom. It keeps spreading. I'm going to keep um, running it around here for a minute, just trying to make it smooth out uh, as best as possible. Especially in the front, I want it to have a little smoother appearance in the front. And working with it in the front because the hole is in the front is more challenging than I thought it would be. But let's see here. Could use a brush that has an angle on it, kind of. Let's keep on working. We'll get it down there. In fact, what I'll do, Glenda, how you doing, love? How are things going for you? How was your week? Cassandra, how was your week? Oh, I'm sorry, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. I'm pouring this inside, my mixture inside at the front so that it can drain down um, to the front of it and clear cover this spot that I can't quite get with the brush, no matter which direction I come from. I'm sorry, you couldn't see that. Pushing it down. There we go. I'm pushing it down in there now. Letting it catch that. This is going to be beautiful. I see it in my head coming together. Now I'll run that along. Come on, baby. I need to get that, that little bitty piece done. Let's stick my finger in there and do it. There we go. I want to get that little bitty piece um, before we move on because it will matter. We want all that to be colored. It will matter. All right, let me get a baby wipe and take that off of my finger. I'm good. How are you? Did you enjoy it? The concert was the bomb. Now, I will admit that I don't like it started an hour and a half late. I do not like that. But I think I understand why because she has this huge, jump, uh, huge electronic display of images and stuff that's happening behind the scenes while she's performing that goes with it. And, and since it's an outdoor venue... And I think all of her concerts this time are being in um, in stadiums that are pretty much outside. It was an outdoor stadium, so she needed it to be completely dark inside of the um, inside of the stadium for us to be able to see this performance on the jumbotron as well. So I think they had to wait until darkness fell. That's what I'm telling myself why she was late. They had to wait till darkness completely um, was there. And but I will say that once she took the stage and started performing, you forgot that she was late because she did not disappoint. Beautiful, beautiful performance, beautiful concert. In fact, I told my um, sister that I would absolutely go again and and I would pay a little bit more money to go again. And I would encourage others to go um, because it is definitely a phenomenal show. So um, I would pay a little bit more money to be a little closer because we were kind of in the nosebleed seats. We were way up there. We didn't have the, um, we definitely didn't have the inexpensive seats or the um, cheap, the expensive tickets. But I don't think there's a bad seat in the house, but I would just like to have been a little bit closer um, only because my fear of heights, I was scared to stand up. Not not a real fear of heights, but I was scared to stand up and um, dance and stuff because um, we were we were up there. We were up there. So, yeah, we were up there. But it was beautiful. All right, you guys, we are putting on the inside, I am putting this, um, this is foil paper. 
And I'm just dipping it on the inside of our our little candle holder to be here because we want it covered on the inside with the foil. We're hoping that the foil paper will make a reflection on the um, when the when if there's a light in it that will flicker the light. So that's why I'm putting this inside. That's what the Mod Podge and the paint was for to help put this inside of the container and to um, the paint in the mix in the Mod Podge is just designed to help give us a little bit more coloration. See how that's looking? When that dries, it should be um, it should be very cute. All right. Her daughter did come out. She did come out. There's, I think there's a specific song that she, um, Blue Ivy, because she came out on that same song for things that I've seen uh, on social media before. So she did come out and perform with us um, on one of her um, Renaissance songs. It was, it was cute too. It was cute to see her out there. And the crowd get, went wild for her. They gave her so much love. It was um, very, very awesome. I'm sure she appreciates it. Um, in fact, in fact, um, I was a little concerned that I would not know the new music because I'm a, a dangerously in love. We like to party Beyonce fan. I, I um, didn't know a whole lot of her new Renaissance music, but the concert itself, she mixed in like so many of her old hits, um, like Who Run the World, um, I Care. She started off with Dangerously in Love. Oh, I was in heaven. That's like one of my all-time favorite songs for Beyonce, Dangerously in Love. And she started off with Dangerously in Love. And um, it was just up from there. And one would probably go, well, how can you get better than Dangerously in Love since that's one of her most popular songs? It just was uphill from there. It was, it was the, hands down, hands down, the best concert I've been to in all my concert going uh, activities. Hands down, the best concert that I went to. Um, while it could be salty for a lot of people, and um, I respect and understand that, um, I would say it was worth the money that we paid. And our tickets were only $165 um, each person. Again, like I said, we were up in the nosebleed section. And $165 could be a lot for other people. Um, but I felt like it was worth the money. And if I go again, I will pay more than that for a ticket again. Um, because it was such a great show. So... For all those who have wondered whether or not they should ever attend a Beyonce concert, my vote would be yes. And the way she did the music, you don't have to worry about not being familiar with her new um, music line because she included new and old all together. And it was just really great. All right, so we're still... Stuffing that in there, you can see from the back, that's what it'll look like, but we're still stuffing it in from the front. And in a minute, I'm going to use the heat dryer to try to help accelerate this to dry so we can see more of how it will turn out on the live instead of just um, posting it to the social media. And I did not post the uh, mirror that we worked on last time. You guys remember that? I didn't like it after it was all said and done. <laughs> I thought it was terrible. In fact, I was very disappointed in the way that it came turned out. And I was like, I'm going to lose my viewer support if I keep putting this crap up here like this. That tells you how much I did not like it. I didn't like it when it was all said and done. I did not like it at all. And I don't want to lose you guys. I don't want to lose you. You, you. I love being able to come in here on Sundays and craft with you guys. But I know I recognize I got to give you a good product to make you want to come and see what we're doing 
to craft together. And with that said, I want to talk about some other um, some ideas. I I like this this week. I had no I like didn't even know what to do today because um, I was like, oh, I need some inspiration. I need to I need to I need some inspiration. So I can tell you what I've decided to do with our channel. I know most of most of the viewers come in to see glam things and um, glam creations. And that's how I built my channel off of um, glam creations. But there's only so many, um, so much of this that you can do and not get burnt out or not lose inspiration. So I am going to next month. Um, I am going to do an entire month of party uh, decor activity and everyone will be, it'll be all off of paper. You guys know I do a lot of paper crafting as well. We're going to do everything based on paper so that um, I'll give you options. I, it, I, am a, I don't like to be boxed into just one thing. And sometimes when I'm boxed in, it starts to, um, I start to lose inspiration. And I think that's what was ha that happened last week with the, um, or two weeks ago with my little, my little mirror. It didn't come out the way that I wanted, which is okay. But I also kind of felt like, mm, this looks like to me that I half ate it, right? That I have, that I put half my heart in it. And I don't ever want to do that. I want to give you guys all of my heart to make sure that you're getting, your watch time worth of crafting because you could be doing anything with anybody and I respect that. So I wasn't very happy with the product that I gave last time and um, I've been doing some soul searching like what's wrong Sharon? Why aren't you? And I think that I think that the um, while I love glam and I'm always going to be glam, I think that I'm burnt out on it just a little bit. And so I'm going to take a break from doing glam crafting and show you guys some paper crafting on how you can do party favors, party events um, through paper crafting. And then we'll go back to glam um, a little bit later. We can always do glam, but that gives us an opportunity to do multiple things with our, with what our channel and how we craft. And then, um, It'll also help me from being burnt out on the glam stuff. If that's okay with you guys. Um, well, I guess just giving you an FYI, because that's pretty much what's gonna happen. That's pretty much what's gonna what we're gonna do, ladies. Are you you in? You in? And um then I will research while I'm out. While I'm doing the paper crafting stuff, I'll research some new glam ideas, but I just, I've kind of lost an interest in crafting glam. I love doing the paper crafting right now, and our channel has seen so many different crafting ways, whether I'm making cups or whether I'm making, um, whether I do cups or whether I do epoxy projects or whether I do glitter projects or rhinestone projects. I'm a crafter. I'm just not a glam crafter. Um, not the only thing. That's not the only thing that I want to do. And I want to, um, and I respect that that's what drew a lot of people to my channel, that I do glam crafting, but I would like the um, crafting freedom if we could on our channel to do some additional craft products other than just glam. And I know that that means that maybe some people may decide that they don't want to be with us and um, watch us any longer. And I respect that. Um, but I wanted to share that with you. That's where I'm at so that you'll know what you'll see in the next coming days will not be necessarily next coming Sundays won't be glam things. It'll be more, um, Party favors, paper crafting ideas, paper crafting items, um, just so that we can keep our channel fun, live, and not just stuck on one thing, but give you guys a heads up. So when you come over and see and you're like, what is Sharon doing? That is what's going on. That's what we'll be working into. Okay. So you saw me put some glitter inside of there. 
Um, that's what it looks like with the glitter inside of there. Now I'm going to use our heat gun to dry it out a little bit. So turn your volume down. Can you do some breast cancer stuff? I sure can. And clarify for me what you mean, because I will absolutely get you covered. Do you mean, um, like party favors for breast cancer or, um, centerpiece table centerpiece party centerpieces for breast cancer or just anything with breast cancer on it but i absolutely can and in fact i appreciate you giving me an idea thank you give me an inspiration all right so let's dry this a little bit while we look at your comment there I'm being very careful as I dry it because I'm drying it with the heat gun and you know that heat will melt plastic and that's all this is, is um, plastic. So I'm being very careful with the heat gun as I'm working it to help dry it um, so that it doesn't dry it out or so that it doesn't warp the plastic or burn it. All right, I'm going to let that dry a little on its own. That's gotten pretty warm. That's gotten pretty warm. While that's drying, before we go back to that piece, we'll start with our next piece. Um, and I'm going to wipe up my mess here. We're going to start with the next item. All right. So the next part of what we have to do, my loves, is going to be with the string. All right, I got that glitter inside of that. Let's put that there. Okay, so next I picked this string up. Do you see this? This is bling string. Look how blingy that is. I picked that up from, oh, I think I ordered it off of, where did I order it? I ordered it off of um, Alibaba, right? where I order that from and I'm going to measure against this how much I think I need I don't want to waste it because it is expensive string um, and so we're going to use this amount there we go it's a it's a big bundle of um, glitter string see that and actually once I ordered it, I realized that all it is is this, you know how we have this right here, this um, diamond wrap tape. It's that wrapped around the string. Now, I'm glad they did it because I, I wouldn't want to do it, but it's sticky when you touch it. The string is, this is kind of sticky. So, we have this little string we're going to take and we're going to bring in our S that we painted earlier and I got the paint on me again throw this away I'm going to bring in my S and I'm going to take this off very carefully so I can have that clean line look at how clean that line is that's what we wanted that is exactly what we wanted now we're going to feed our I'm just trying to decide if I should feed it through from the front or feed it through from the back. I'm going to feed it through from the front because this is going to be our hanging. We're going to use this to hang this. So we're going to feed it through from the front and then we're going to tie it off a little bitty knot in the top. I guess I need a little more string than that because I can't work that. It's so small. All right. So we're going to tie it off with the little knots at the top. There we go. 
That blingy string is so pretty. Let's see. Yes, a centerpiece for my sister's breast cancer event. Her event will be August 12th. I think it came out very nice. And I also made, um, make, made, I can't read that S that they have in front of that little heart that they got there is blocking um, some breast cancer reefs. Oh, wow. Yep, I will. August 12th is her event. Okay, I got you. Well, um, in fact, that's what we'll do next week. We'll make some breast cancer ideas for you. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So that's what we're going to do here. And now we're going to take back in our Utopia. It looks like it's dry. But now we need to scrape the inside to get the excess, um, all of the excess stuff out of it. And I'm going to take this kind of rough brush and I'm going to rub down inside of there to get the excess um, paper from sticking all around and dump it in the garbage on the side. Because you want your inside to be beautiful. You don't want it to have stuff all over. Look, see how it's cleaned that up now? Clean that up on the inside. And it's not quite dry at the top, but once it dries, it'll be fine. But look at how that gave that a, um, the light bulb. You can still see, but it has kind of a gold tint to it. It's hard to see it from your end, but it has like a gold tint, shimmery, with the um, let's get that stuff out of there. Gold tint and shimmery to it on the glass. It's very pretty from this side. I must say it's very pretty. And on the inside now it's smoother, much smoother because we've taken off the excess paper. And it looks like I got a little bit of gold on the outside here. I don't want that. So I'm going to clean that up on the outside. We don't want any of that to be showing through on the outside of it. So no Mod Podge, no gold, no nothing on the outside of there. We want everything to be contained inside of our container. Oh, that's very pretty. That's very pretty. I love it. It's very pretty inside and out. This is still wet up here. So you can see the Mod Podge that's still wet. Um, in fact, I might just stick, oh, that's sticky to boy. Stick that up there and let that, um, let that paper and stuff dry inside of there at the top yeah oh that's gonna be gorgeous okay all right so we will leave that like it is now my thought was I know we said it would be a candle holder but my thought is is you could use it dual ways I'm gonna run this down between here grab that I'm feeding this wire in right you could use this dual ways. One, I don't want to put a real flame in it because if I put a real flame in it, this is plastic and it will, um, it, the flame could melt. So you want to use an artificial candle. Let's start that, right? It would be a flameless candle. If you decide to put a candle in there, you want it to be a flameless candle. I am going to do mine with my little S hanging in here. So I'm going to feed the S wire also through the cap. Oh, you're fine, Glenda. I got you, baby. I got ideas running in my mind right now as we're thinking about what we can do. Um, and I'm thinking about if I should do it as a video before so that I can send you the stuff that I make and have it to you by the 12th. So I'm trying to think about what my life looks like this week if I have something I have time to do so that you can get what you need before you need it because it won't do you any good to get it after the 12th. Um, 
That's honestly where my mind went to when you said that her event was on the 12th and I repeat it. Oh, it's the 12th. I was thinking about, well, how can I get that before the 12th so you can get what you need? All right. So here are the options that you can do with this light bulb, right? Let's get this string off of here. There we go. I'm going to come to a different camera. Let's go here. Hey, hey, boo. Hey. So this is almost dropped it. Hey, Lisa, how are you? This is option one, right? See how I did that? I put, um, I made it with a little floating S inside of there. That is option one. You can absolutely do that. In fact, you probably wouldn't even need to use a bling string on it because we can't even see the bling string right now. And I'm looking at it with the paint on the inside. I don't see the bling string at all. So you could get away with using maybe a fishing wire or any kind of string because you can't see the bling string. So that's option one. But I said that this would be a candle holder. So let's go ahead and make it the candle holder since the string is not making an impact um, as I thought it would be. Let's, I'm going to unscrew this. Let's put you back so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right. I'm going to bring this out. I'm going to screw this back on. And then I have a little bitty, uh, can you guys see that? A little bitty tea light candle holder. And I would have to force it in there like that to make that work. And I don't know if I should hot glue it in there or not. But again, if you decide to do this, you're going to need to use a flameless candle. I'm going to change cameras here so you can see it. You will need a flameless candle to put that inside of your, because um, you don't want, a, unless you use a real little tea light. But because this is plastic, I'm afraid that the um, tea light would start to melt and or smoke the candle, right? And so you don't want that black soot to come off the, the real wet flame. So you would want to use a flameless candle if you opted to create this kind of look. And let me turn the light down. There we go. So now can you see that better? Or can, did it make it worse? So let's pull, I'm going to pull this up and out of here again. Because now, what I want to do now is, Lisa, I shared with them your, I used it too. Look, look, look. Look, Lisa. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, my God. Lisa that just joined us, you guys, is who I was telling you earlier who sent this to me. I just love it. I wasn't even expecting it. What a great surprise, too. I was like, oh, my God, how awesome. So I used that earlier in the show. I was showing everybody how um, I just love it. This is still a little wet, you guys, so I'm trying to be careful. But that's the other option. You can put a tea light holder. You want a fake, a, um, a flameless candle. If you decide to do that, you want it to be a flameless candle. And I'm going to go ahead and just bling this up a little bit more um, because it. when I put it inside of there, I didn't think it had a, a enough bling on it for me. So we're just going to paint this with some of our Mod Podge paint mixture just around the edge, just around the river bend. Oh, I shouldn't have seen that so I don't get demonetized, should I? Uh, so we're going to make this just around the edge here, this flameless. This will just give it some, a little bit more decoration to it. It was looking, whoop. oh, hold it from the bottom, Sharon. How about that? Y'all, if it don't happen on live, it didn't happen. This is real crafting. Hold it from the bottom. I was trying to keep my line as straight as I possibly could uh, and don't want too much uh, too much paint on it. 
because I want it to dry fairly fast. So, let's thin that out. Let's thin this out. Lisa, I was sharing with everyone next, um, starting with our August, I will be relaxing on the glam projects a little bit. Something just fell over there. That's what you guys saw me look at. Uh, and I'm going to do a lot of paper crafting tutorials on um, centerpieces, party events. And so Glenda has already asked if I would do one for breast cancer. And so I will do that um, coming up because I'm a little, I was sharing, I was a little burnt out on um, glam things. And in fact, I was really disappointed in the last project that I did. So I am going to take a break on glam and um, move to my next love, which is paper, paper crafting, and show you guys some of those. So I will be doing, um, for the month of August for sure, paper crafting projects, um, both on our live and on the videos that I will do and attach to my channel. Um, so you'll know ahead of time. I'm not, it's not that I don't love glam. I'm just burnt out on it a little bit. And so I'm going to switch it up for us. And as I've shared with you before, you know, because you and I have talked one-on-one -on -one that I'm a crafter, so I do everything. I don't just like doing one particular thing. And while I know it probably could or might have an impact on my um, viewers or channel or why people came to my channel, I need to do it for my sanity. Uh, go to do something a little bit different for a while. And then we can always come back to glam as that happens. But... That's what I'm going to do, my love, because I am glam girled out for right now. Right now, I'm glam girled out. And I knew that I was glam girled out, Lisa, when I looked back at that uh, mirror that we were making. While I love the peacock, I hate the way that it turned out. I don't like it at all. And um, it wouldn't even be something that I would want to gift to somebody. It would just, it just didn't, I didn't like it at all. And I feel like I was not giving you guys my 100%, my best, my top. Um, and that project just proved it for me. It, it, to me, it just said, yeah, this was something you just threw together, Sharon Tucker. And you guys deserve better than that. I deserve to do better than that. And so um, I'm going to take a break on Glam Girl stuff and move to paper crafting for a while and um, always can return to our first love. We love glam, but it's only, you can get burnt out too. Okay. Thank you. I knew you would understand. I knew you would understand my crafting stuff. You guys are phenomenal. And, um, you know, you're here with me. And I, I, um, when I first started my channel back in 2017, I was really religious about posting, um, online and I just love crafting period. So I was religious about, um, doing all different kinds of stuff. And so my channel is very My channel is very mod podge or hodgepodge compared to other crafters. And I know people would say, well, that could affect you and that might affect your views and that might affect your, um, you know, people watching your show. And it could, it could. Um, and I guess that if I were doing YouTube for a financial gain, then it would probably make a difference. And while I would love for YouTube to be able to pay for the cost of what I put in it, I don't do it for a financial gain. I work outside every day, which also limits the amount of time that I can put into YouTube um, and or the channels. And since it is my creative relief, which is why I like to mail out and send you guys the things that I am doing and making, um, if I can afford to the shipping, that's what I do it for. Um, I don't do YouTube to eat off of, um, and it's a creative relief. If I can make some coins off of that creative relief, then that's okay too. But um, I, I just, I got to do some more crafting that's actually making sense for me and making, um, making me a little 
happier, like you say, Lisa, doing me. Because right now, right now, these little, I'm just searching for things to create and searching for, there we go, that looks better. And then we can put the uh, candle inside of there and that will be, um, and I'm not going to glue this in because we would want to be able to pull this in and out to put a candle, the flameless candle, turn it on and turn it off so you can easily pull this out of the hole there. Fits in pretty good. You can easily pull it out. And then you can hang it if you want to hang it. If we decide that we want to hang this, I wish it were dry so you guys could see what it looks like all the way. It's not quite dry yet, so we'll... I'll post a photo of it later. Um, but yeah, I wish it were dry so you could see it. But now I got this cute little S that I could do something with as well. Yeah, so you bling coffee mugs and you get burned out. I get it. I get it. Because in fact, I, I've got some... Um, well, let me do this before... Before anybody leaves there, uh, I think it's only three of you that are commenting on here. I don't know if anybody else is on or not, but I did order some stuff and I ordered some stuff that I had too much of it. So I want to send it to you guys. All right. So I ordered too much of it on purpose so I could send it to you guys. I'm going to make it sound like I, I don't know what I'm doing. I ordered too many on purpose. When I went to order these things, I was like, oh, I'm going to order six of them because I can send them to my, um, <laughs> okay, thank you, Lisa. I appreciate that. Um, we will continue to watch and whatever. Thank you. I appreciate that too, Cassandra. I, you'll continue to watch. I love that. That's why I love you guys, our universe. And that's why sometimes when I'm not here on Sundays, I feel so disconnected because I know, um. You guys, for sure, you, Glenda, Cassandra, we see um, um, Katina on a consistent basis. You guys come in and, and support me consistently, um, and I love it. Just the, our little group, our little clique, we're together, and I love that. And that's why I wanted to share with you the direction of what's on my mind, where we're going. But, okay, so loves. I ordered these off of... Team Timu Timu Timu, I think that's the title, and I want to send these to you. So I have two pink and two white. First, it's only three of you, so the first ones that I see that type in the color you want, that's the color I will send to you. So somebody won't get one if you all want pink or if you all want white. So type in the color that you want. I'm going to send that to you. And then off of Timu as well, I ordered these. Um, these are, um, if you do vinyl or if you do um, crafting, one side is felt so you can put your, rub your product down. The other side is um, not felt so that you can scrape and pick it up. It's, it's, it's like this. If you have a Cricut, it's like this, but it is... Um, had great size. So there's only three of you on that I know of right now. I will give each of you one of those. And then I see Glenda wants pink. And Lisa, you want white. And Cassandra, you have an answer. So you get to choose between pink or white. You get to choose between pink or white. Glenda wants pink. Write your name on here, Glenda. Y'all know you need to email me your address, except for I got you, Lisa. I got you, baby. I got you. Lisa wants white. And you guys are like, what is that? What is it? I forgot to tell you what it is. Let me pull up. I'll show you. Um, this is, you see that? It's a little knife. It's a small little pin knife. And if you need to get in those really, really cut, really sharp corners, it's a small little pen knife. Yep, you're right. It's a small pen knife, Cassandra. It is a small, it is different than the um, pen picker, right? The um, This is a, this one right here has a pointy end on it. This is a pin weeder. Let's see. Can you see how that little pin, it's a pin weeder. 
And this one is a pen knife. In fact, uh, oh, Cassandra, you have them. Okay, good, good, good. In fact, this one works so well that if you had a design that was so minute um, and you wanted to cut it off of, if you didn't have a machine and you wanted to use this to cut out a design, you could use it instead of using your um, silhouette. You could use this to cut it out yourself. So some people don't have, um, some people don't have cutting machines, but you absolutely, this gives you the ability to cut vinyl or to cut a project without having to have a cutting machine if you need to cut it all manual. And you can get into really small places to be able to use. Cassandra says she has one, so that is cool. I love it. I love it. She knew right away what it was. Um, looked like somebody came in and tried to say something uh, not positive and they got booted out. That's what it looked like. Yeah. Did y'all see that? Some person popped in and tried to say something that wasn't positive. It looked like he got deleted and booted out. Um, okay. So Cassandra, um, you have these. So you, but are you, which could you use one of these, honey? Could you use this scraper? This one has the, where's my light? I have no light. It's so dark now. Um, this one has the felt end on it. And then on this side, it has um, the spatula or the scraper side. I use them for this. Let me show you what I use them for. I mean, if you don't need it, it's okay. But I, I just thought that I would um, bless you, whoever was viewing. And since it's um, a limited number, that makes it even easier for me to gift them out. So if I'm putting my vinyl or my paper onto my um, pad, then I use the felt in to, and it helps from scraping the paper. See that it helps from uh, putting small um, scratch lines in my vinyl. If I use this in, it would put a scratch line in my vinyl. See that how that scratched it. So that's why I like about these before I would flip my mat over and I would scrape it to make sure that it's sticking to the mat this way. Now I can just use this on either end to get it stuck to the mat. I also use it on paper when I glue things down. Let's take that off. Look at how sticky that got it down. That would not come out in my cutter. And sometimes if you don't, if you don't braid them down, they'll, um, come off of the mat and then you lose, you mess up your vinyl, you mess up your paper, um, whatever it may be. But I also like to use them because when I glue down my item, I, I didn't tell y'all that Lisa sent me this too. She sent me, she knows I love this glue. I love this glue. So she sent me a bottle of that too. I love it. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> so when you glue things down, like, so if I were gluing this down, onto my product, my paper project. I glue this on. Then I will come in because I'll come in with the felt side, which helps press it down. And it also helps spread the glue out underneath there. And then it doesn't scratch your project up because if I use this side, it could scratch my project. And so I don't want to do that either. All right. So that's what the two of these are. This is cutters and these are scrapers and I will send them to you. Only thing I'm going to ask if that, if you would, if you would, will you just email me your address and I will get them mailed out to you as soon as I get your address. So I'm going to put those there. I got Lisa for uh, white and Glenda, I got you down for pink. And each one of you will get one of the scrapers. And Cassandra, I appreciate you have them, honey. It's all I got to offer, though. So I maybe I can get you something else some other time. All right. So I've got two more that we'll give away at a different time. So let me put those over here. We are done. It's 2 o'clock. I will show you. E oh, you need my email address? Let me make sure you have that. Uh, e let no, what's my email? B T H Enterprises FW at gmail.com. 
I just put my BTH Enterprises, fw at gmail.com in the comment section. Please record that down. Please email me your email address. Um, Glenda, I should have had it. I've sent you stuff before, so I should have it. But just in case I don't, will you email it to me? And um, I will make sure to get it mailed out to you guys. I would lie and say I'll get it out definitely this week, but I'm not sure. I got to look at my calendar and see if I get to the post office anytime soon. So, um, yes, yes, yes. What else am I thinking? I'm giving you time to capture that. And then here is our final project for today. We'll put a little tea light in there. Once this dries, it is going to be super pretty. Because you can already see the hints of, um, let's turn this off. You can already see the hints of gold in it. And you can see the um, the um, shimmer that's in it. But it's still drying. So we will work on getting that finished. That's for our, let's see, we'll do this. So that we can get a good thumbnail and pull it up. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, my loves, my loves, my loves. We have come to the end of our hour. And I love y'all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Lisa, for the love you shared with me on my surprise mail. I did not expect that when I went to my mailbox and I was pleasantly surprised and extremely happy and just thank you for your kindness and generosity because you don't have to do it and more specifically you all thank you so much for spending time with me on Sundays because I know that's something you don't have to do we're miles apart and many of us don't even know where the other person is located or at but coming together on Sunday once a once a week for an hour gives us a community and joy, and I just love it. If you know somebody else that would be a good addition to our community, include them, share the video, tell them, hey, come on out. We would love to have them spend time with us. But for the next, who knows, 30 for sure, everything you'll see on this channel will be centered around party centerpieces, party favorite, paper products, paper bag. You guys know I love to do bag purses. We're going to bring those um, out for a little while. But next up, Give me some comments below too so that I know what you'd like to see in that um, field. And I'm going to start working on some things for you, Glenda, for your um, breast cancer events. I will see y'all next Sunday. I'm going to cut the grass right now and then I'm going to come back down here and start crafting. I love you all so much. Thank you. See you next week. Until then, y'all know I'm going to tell you. You know what I'm going to say. Stay classy. I'll see you next time.